All right, just to document what I'm doing here, I've got a 2010 Nissan Altima Coupe two-door. And we're going to clean the mass airflow sensor, dust off what I can dust off. You gotta clean that. Then we gotta, this one's kind of not dirty, but we're gonna put the fluid on there to clean that. Anyway, it's having some hesitation problems. The other day it wouldn't accelerate past 55, so I looked on YouTube and this is what he said to do. So we removed the air filter, we removed that to get to that, check the transmission fluid, that was all good. Oil is good, started dusting off everything. So what we're gonna do is just take that thing off, put the mass airflow cleaner. What we got here, I'll show you. We got it picked up at AutoZone, it was almost 10 bucks. Mass airflow sensor cleaner. That's what that is right there. So we gotta get all this off, remove that. So we'll keep you updated and we're just gonna do maintenance and see how it runs after the fact. Well, therein lies our problem. Maybe, I think, cause look at all that. We gotta clean that. That blocks a certain something something. Gotta clean in there too. You can see the throttle body's not really that dirty right there. But on this side, so let's get that cleaned. All right, we got the throttle body cleaned as best we could with the Sensi Clean and so we cleaned it, brushed it off with an old toothbrush, and wiped it down. So there you go. The spray works good. Some of the stuff won't come off no matter how hard you try. But it's good enough. And we sprayed that in there. And we'll put it back together and see how it works. Then we'll spray the mass airflow sensor. Alright, it's all done and clean on the inside. Put it back there, put it back together. This is what you get right here to clean it. It says increases MPG. Proven to gain 4 to 10 horsepower at rear wheels. Improves AFR, air to fuel ratio. If you want to see any details on this, you can get it at AutoZone. So it's supposed to be some pretty good stuff. Tire job like, takes less than 10 minutes. It took me almost about an hour because I had to remove the throttle body. Not just clean the sensor itself, but to clean all of that as well on the inside. So job is complete. Let's get the car up running and let's see what we got. All right, here is a mass airflow sensor on a 20 cent Nissan Altima. It's right behind the air filter box. Once you get your air filter replaced, you always want to clean these. So we bought the solution. We spray it there. We spray it in the holes. We've done clean that, put that back together. That looks super clean now. So we're going to do it. Here's how you clean it. All right, let's start it up and see how it goes from here. I unplugged the battery, so the battery has been readjusted, so probably why it took a second to get up there. Turn the AC on. Everything seems to run in normal right now. Dang it. Okay, that's a difference range went up 480 the gauge has kind of been off too let's put it in gear and let's go oh snap it's on behind me what the heck Twenty ten Nissan Altima Q I got one hundred forty eight thousand five hundred and fifty eight miles on it I'm fixing to go I do DoorDash favor I'm a DoorDash I mean yeah I'm a food delivery driver right now so I drive this thing almost about a thousand miles a week so I put heavy miles on it. So I just got a recent heavy oil change, high mileage. It's about five o'clock. I'm gonna see if there's a barber shop open. Where I'm gonna get a haircut, possibly. We're gonna drive this thing. It hasn't been hesitating yesterday, but the check engine light's been on because it says the catalytic converter is below the threshold, which I already had that looked at a couple months ago. He said nothing was wrong with it. It still may be dirty, but we'll see if the light end up coming back on. We had put the fuel cleaner in there that's supposed to remove that PO420 code that does the catalytic where it throws that code. That solution that we put in the oil, uh, gasoline, you just buy it about 20 something bucks, drove it about half a tank, put it in there, then we filled it up gasoline yesterday at the gas station, so I got a full tank, and it says just to drive it. I already drove it 20, 30 miles more yesterday, so, but we'll see if that code ever comes back. 
but that light right there says the tire pressure that's always on for some reason but right now let's listen to the car let's give it a little boost see if the cruise control works yep cruise control works that wasn't working yesterday it would blink off and on right now we're in the town of Kingsville and we're just riding down to see what the car is acting like so far so good I'm in the right lane see if this barbershop's open other than that it should be good clean the mass airflow center the throttle body we'll see if it hesitates anymore during the week or if we go to corpus and go see a movie we'll see how it is but i'll update you then if you like the video like subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions and this is my first time working on something like this because all i did was research it on youtube and looked at what somebody else did and then i repeated the same process but all in all so far so good love you guys go out there and change the world this has been another video from Step Outside Your Box. Hope you enjoyed. We will see you guys in the next video. Just want to see, let you know what I look like. Here we go. This hair needs to be cut. Love you guys. Leave a comment. I like working on cars. I think I want to work on cars more often. I don't know much about them, but when a problem arises like I just had, research it on YouTube, Google it, and you'll find your answer most of the time. But hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I've repeated myself too much. Love you guys. See you in the next one.